Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. We're at the Arcteric stand at Ispo Munich and we've just run into Inna's Pappet. She made a pretty impressive second repeat of a route in Candacek. Can you tell us the name of it to save me? Yeah, hey, uh, well, it means pretty. <laughs> the route means pretty. No, the route is really pretty and uh, super obvious. There's that roof and kind of huge daggers hanging from the roof. Uh, it, it's just inviting to climb. And it was a pretty good effort from Robert Jasper to do the first ascent. And of course, since I he, uh, since he opened the route, it was on my list to do very much on the top. And yeah, it's like it is with ice climbing or mixed climbing. You have to wait for the right conditions. And that was happened last weekend. Just tell me, what is the route's name? I, we tried. I tried to pronounce this earlier, but I gave up. The route's name is Ritter der Kokosnuss. It's a movie from Monty Python, I guess. Male people understand the humor better than the female. What is the translation of the name? I actually don't know. You should know as an English guy. The search I for the Holy Grail? Probably. Uh, right! That settles it! So the year's got off to a good start. What are your plans for the rest of 2015? <laughs> yeah, you know, the winters are pretty, long, uh, pretty short, actually, compared to the training time you, you spend. And I really want to check out the conditions in Scotland next week and see if there's some harder mixed tread routes. So that's actually this kind of climbing I really like, I really appreciate. But the style is so different there. It's maybe overhanging but mainly usually vertical and very technical and bad gear. So we'll see what's happened and I try to of course do something new or some hard repeats. Okay well Good luck and enjoy Scotland. Thank you, I will, I hope, yeah. And next, we're off to check out the Nuclei AR jacket with Greg. Hi, I'm Greg Grensky with Arcteryx. Um, I'm the Ascent Design Manager for Apparel, and today I'm gonna talk about the Nuclei AR. The goal behind this project was to make the lightest, um, most weather-resistant blade parka possible. Um, it's very light, it comes in at about 465 grams. It's uh, I'm using a 20 denier windstopper and it's fully seam taped so it's very, very weatherproof. I did a lot of testing with Will Gadd on this piece and asked him for just kind of a one-liner and he's like, how about I don't want to return it? So he really likes it, um, tested it all, all last winter. It uses 100 gram Corloft synthetic insulation and 40 gram insulation in the hood just to keep it very light and compact. Um, obviously helmet compatible. I uh, just wanted to make it a very minimalistic piece. On the inside you've got one single large dump pocket and a stuff sack that's girth hitched in. So another advantage of the jacket is since it's fully seam taped, uh, you create this big pocket of air on the inside. When you're compressing the jacket in the stuff sack, you create that big, big air pocket, but in the hem of the jacket, there's also two vents that allow the air to escape. And there's also a vent in the hood, depending on what you what you pack last. So this whole uh, belay parka fits into this really small stuff sack. And that's the Nuclei AR. It's for um, climbing, ice climbing, ski mountaineering. Um, it's launching this fall 15, and the price is 480 euros. Well, that was the Nuclei AR jacket easy for me to say. Up next we've got Jonathan showing us the lithic glove. Hi, I'm uh, Jonathan Wong. I'm the product line manager for gloves at Arcteryx and today I'm going to talk about the uh, features of our new lithic glove. The uh, one main thing we were interested in with this was removing leather from the glove entirely, um, substituting it with this High Denier N333 X fabric that comes from the motorcycle industry and enabling us to produce a glove with highly hydrophobic, that is water repellent qualities. Water, when you wet a glove, it uh, increases the heat conduction by up to 24 times. So by doing that, we radically improve the ability of the glove to keep your hands warm. We also really enhance the insulation properties of this glove. This particular glove has three different kinds of Primaloft insulation. So we maximize the amount of insulation that we put into the glove 
while not compromising the dexterity or your ability to grip things and, and uh, perform fine motor skills such as putting on your climbing skins in any way. There was one final thing to do to really improve the dexterity and grip that this glove would offer and that was to reduce what we call shear in the glove. Shear is when the different layers of the glove slide on each other and it making it very difficult to hold on to things like ski poles, grabbing things like ice axes. So what we did is a very proprietary set of bonding technologies, taping the different layers together. This is now giving the glove unprecedented levels of dexterity and grip because by reducing the shear between the layers, we can basically improve its handling of almost any situation. So that's the Arcteryx Lithic Glove. It'll be in retail stores in fall 2015, uh, retailing for 260 euro. Ah, that is a whole lot of very nice Arcteryx kit. One last thing before we go, don't forget that you can watch us in HD and when offline by downloading the Epic TV app from iTunes and the Google Play Store. We'll see you tomorrow.